let's talk a little bit about the Calgary International Film Festival. Uh, what, what are the minimum sort of production skills you look for when you accept a film? It's really interesting because, yeah, there's going to be basics from a, from a production level that can get you knocked out immediately. Um, there, there, there's, there's a joke, but there's truth in the joke that I, I have. And it, it's, a, it, it's a test that is or a theory that has been proven true every time I test it. Bad fonts and open credits always equal bad film. <laughs> like, like, so um, now it doesn't mean sometimes good opening credits can also lead to a bad film, but bad opening credits always lead to a bad film. But the one thing I think that I find from a production standpoint that gets the most overlooked and is the most likely thing to get your film rejected is bad sound. Um, I think so many people are so concentrating on, on, on the script, which you have to get right, uh, on the acting, which you also have to get right, that and the visuals, they think of it of a cinema being solely a visual medium when it is, and a poor sound mix can knock a movie out right away. Now, that said, sometimes we get movies that will tell you up front, this is not final sound, we're working on sound between you watching it and before your festival. Um, and so you have to kind of trust them on that front. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's the one thing that I think can draw an otherwise good film uh, uh, from the, the accept pile to the reject pile because um, they just didn't get the sound right. Yeah, it's a great point. And there's a lot to dig into there because one thing that Nick and I, Nick, my co-founder at Bonza, we always say is you can't teach taste. And when you, when you, find a film that has really terrible cover art or key art, uh, bad fonts. Well, that's a taste issue a lot of times because they, there was nothing skill wise that prevented them from picking the next font over that, that made better sense. And so you just realize, Oh, we're about to get into a film with a filmmaker who hasn't polished and figured out, figured out their voice yet. When you talk about sound, I'm reminded of the hierarchy of, of marketing or sort of the, the hierarchy of, 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 of marketing importance. So it starts with text and then, and sort of marketing influence, I should say high hierarchy of marketing influence. So it starts with text and then it, an order of magnitude better is audio and an order of magnitude better again is video. And what makes film so powerful is that it's all three. Yeah. You get text, audio, and video all playing an equal part in compelling you. And that's why film has, in my opinion, the power to, to change minds and change, change the world.